The John Sad Archive of Rwanda is a project initiated by Aegis Trust in collaboration with the National Commission for the Fight Against Genocide to document and preserve the memory of the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. Muri genocide archive Rwanda turabakozi barenga 20 bari mu mati matandukanye tukaba dufite team ya mbere ishinzwe kujya kuri terrain no gukusanya ayo makuru akubiyemo ubuhamya bunyuranye bwa bwabacitse kwicumu cyangwa se abagize uruhare mu bwicanyi iyo team niyo ituzanira ayo makuru ikayashyikiriza indi team ishinzwe kuyanoza kugira ngo abashe kuzajya ku rubuga rwacu ndetse no kugira ngo azabe accessible ku bantu bose bayifuza ekipe ya collection ya makuru ikusanya navuga ko ashingiye mu bihe bitatu by'ingenze hari gihe cyangwa ya genocide yakorwa abatutsi mu Rwanda hari mu gihe cyaje genocide hari no mu gihe cyanyuma ya genocide aho ngaho hakaba haboneka mu makuru ajyanye no kwibaka kwa bacitse kwicumu kwa banyarwanda muri rusange umuntu wacitse kwicumu nanone nkaba nakira ubuhamya bw'abantu batandukanye no kuvuga ngo ndewo umvise ubuhamya uno munsi ukumva ko bugukomereye ugakira ejo ubundi muntu kandi ubu buhamya bwose niko bukuguma zifashishwa igikoresho cyo kwigisha abana bavutse muri genocide cyangwa nyuma yaho batazi byabaye kugira ngo bamenye ibyo rwanda rwanyuze no kubika amateka birumvikana kugira ngo atazibagirana mu rwego rero nkakazi nkora nkaba ari niko kantera imbaraga zo gukomeza kwakira ubu buhamya one of the projects undertaken by the Genocide Archive of Rwanda is the mapping of genocide landmarks and post-genocide reconstruction efforts all over Rwanda. The goal of this project is to develop maps that show different genocide landmarks, including sites of killings, roadblocks, mass graves, memorials, but also showing various posts genocide reconstruction efforts, including Unity and Reconciliation Association, and peace building projects undertaken by communities around the country. This project is very important for preserving the memory of the genocide, and there's no doubt that once it's done, the map produced will be a tremendous educational tool for Rwandans, internationals, historians, researchers, but most importantly for future generations. I think it's a tremendous resource. First-hand testimony, primary source materials, it puts it online, it presents it in a way that is very user-friendly. It's done in a respectful way, and that is, that's extremely important when documenting genocide. One of the most exciting aspects of the archive is that it's not only documenting what happened during the genocide, but also capturing some of the peace-building activities that we're doing now. And that's a process which people from countries in crisis today really want to learn from. Ni ingenzi cyane kugira ngo abantu bamenye ibyabaye byo kuzasubira ukundi kandi no kubika aya mateka utazi iyo yavuye ntamenya ni yaje aya mateka ni yatuma ubu buhamye nibwo butuma nabandi bantu bazirinda gukora ibyabaye Today the archive is a key platform for both the recording the past but also for conversation about what that means for the future. So if you are an eyewitness, we need you to bring us your story. If you are building peace in your community, we need to hear from you. And if you are international, then please engage and make use of the archive online.